Hello and welcome to the Top Corner European Roundup Show for the 31st of December 2019. It's the last Top Corner European Roundup Show of the year and it's, well, it's the last one of the decade as we go into 2020. If you are new to the channel, of course, please do leave a like and a subscription. There are some big things to come, not just... Uh, European Roundup Show and the Top Corner Podcast. Uh, you'll find out a little bit more about that in the next coming days. But without further ado, there's not a great deal of news today. They are all to do with transfers. There's not really been any breaking pieces of news. So let's get into the first main transfer uh, piece of news that came out, and this is to do with Juventus. Now, Juventus have supposedly made a bid for Atalanta starlet Dejan Kulusevski, according to Gianluca Di Marzio. Now, the 19-year Year old is currently on loan at Parma, but he has made a name for himself at the club after scoring four goals and providing seven assists in 21 appearances for the club. Now it's a pretty stunning record for a 19 year old, and of course, it's brought attraction from two of Italy's biggest clubs, Juventus and Inter. However, Juve are the more likely of the two clubs to sign the player. Now, according to uh, Gianluca Dimazio, Juventus have actually already reached terms with Atalanta for the player, but they now need to focus their ideas on agreeing terms with Kulusevski himself. Now, it's likely that Juventus will leave Kulusevski on loan at Parma until the end of the season, and then they will uh, obviously think over their options and what to do with the player when he comes back in the summer. Now, he's made a massive name for himself, and especially over these last couple of weeks when he's been getting these goals and assists, he has really made a name for himself, not just... um, in Italy but on social media a lot of people have been praising his performances and well if he goes to Juventus it's safe to say he's going to have a tricky challenge they've got a lot of midfielders at the club but at the same time if Sarri does stay he said he has a three year plan is he going to be part of that plan we will of course find out over time but on to the next transfer uh, this is a piece of news that came out earlier this uh, yesterday afternoon reports emerged yesterday that Benfica could be close to signing the Dortmund midfielder Julian Vigel now according to the Portuguese newspaper Correio de uh, Manha they're saying that Benfica will sign Vigel for 20 million euros with the deal being announced in the upcoming days now of course in the past he was linked to PSG and Manchester City being the two main clubs. However, Vigel's contract actually runs out at the end of the season, so could Dortmund get rid of the player and cash out before his contract expires? He's seen as being behind Witzel in the pecking order, although he has played a couple of games over the last recent weeks. It's a piece of news that's come out of nowhere. I think it's going to happen. I do think Dortmund are going to cash in and take the money and run. I don't see Vigel having much interest in signing a new contract so I do think he will move on now one player that I think could also be moving on according to Sky Sports is that of Gedshin Fernandez of course you will know him as one of the young midfielders at Benfica and according to Sky Sports they're reporting that Manchester United have prioritized Gedshin Fernandez as a priority signing this January now, Gershon Fernandes hasn't actually played for Benfica in the last seven games, and apparently he's, for, uh, apparently he's uh, fallen out of favour with the head coach, Bruno Large. Now, representatives of the player have apparently been in the UK looking for a potential loan deal with an option to buy the player for £34 million. Now, Fernandes does actually have a release clause already in his contract of £102 million. However, Benfica have apparently conceded that they will not get such money for the player and are thinking of cashing him out now while he's got a value it's an interesting one because he's got a lot of potential he is very reminiscent to of course Renato Sanchez being a Portuguese midfielder Benfica a massive talent being touted by some of Europeans biggest clubs are Benfica going to cash out again or will he stay and potentially over the next couple of months get his way back into the squad I I don't know it's a tricky one this one because he he could stay or 
Benfica could look at it from a money perspective and just take the money and run. Uh, we now move on to the next player, which is we've actually got two pieces of news to end today off. Uh, they're both from Inter Milan. Now, the first piece of news is a player that's going out of the club, and that is Gabriel Borbosa. He has been linked to a whole host of clubs over the last couple of months, but the club he played for, Flamengo, are the main targets to sign the Brazilian striker. Now, according to the Brazilian outlet O Globo, they're saying Flamengo have set a deadline to sign Gabriel Barbosa permanently from Inter Milan. With the club's pre-season starting on January 23rd, they ideally want to sign the player before the end of the second week in January. Now, it's an interesting one because Inter apparently are quite clear, according to... Um, the Brazilian source, they want to get rid of Barbosa and cash out the player that they only signed a couple of seasons ago. However, Barbosa decided to have a period of time to think over the decision of whether he wants to sign for Flamengo or go back to Italy. Now, Flamengo wanted to proceed with talks uh, after the Common Ball final. They got cancelled and delayed. They were then set for the end of the Club World Cup. And once again, the talks haven't actually taken place so will Barbosa go back to Italy or will Barbosa move to Flamengo once again it's a very tricky one I do think the deal will get sorted I do think he will go back to Flamengo personally I think there's a lot of people that would like him to go back to Inter and try again but when you've got Lautaro Martinez and Lukaku I don't think he's going to get into the side and he'd probably be once again loaned out. So Inter might as well cash out while they can. But one player that could be moving to Inter is this man, Marcos Acuna. Now, Conte has made it quite clear he wants to sign a fullback in January if not in the summer, and he was looking to bring in one of his former players at Chelsea, Marcus Alonso. However, apparently Chelsea, according to Gianluca Di Marzio once again, want £40 million to sign the Spanish fullback, and Inter Milan have basically turned their nose at that offer and have moved elsewhere. Now, Di Marzio is saying that they have turned their attention to Sporting's Marcos Acuna. Now, the 28-year-old is seen as a cheaper option to Marcos Alonso, but is also a versatile option. He has played both at full-back and on the wing when acquired, uh, required for Sporting. Of course, his age... 28, he's got quite a lot of experience to him, an Argentinian international, so he will have played with Laturo Martinez in the uh, Argentinian side. So he could certainly be a cheaper signing for the club. Now, as I said, there wasn't really a great deal of news today in terms of um, just general news, whether it be uh, breaking news. It's been, to be honest, January transfer stuff. Now, that is the last episode for 2019. We will be in 2020 when we're back. Uh, there'll be no episode tomorrow. I'll be back on the 2nd of January for the European Roundup show. If you aren't uh, following the Twitter page, of course, it's at the underscore top corner. If you want to follow us on Facebook, it's the top corner. And if you want to follow us on Instagram, it's the underscore top corner blog for all of your latest news. But when we come back in January time, a lot of the news each day will be on January transfers, unless there is any breaking news. But of course, the European Roundup Show is a Available for you every day at 9am with the podcast returning in just over a week's time. I'm very excited for when that comes back. And then there will be a transfer deadline day stream on the 31st of January. So thank you very much for watching the European Roundup show. I hope you all have a fantastic New Year's Eve and enjoy your celebrations as we go into a brand new decade. And I will see you back in 2020 for the European Roundup show. Goodbye. <laughs>